Hey dudes and girls, in the gym, we're gonna go over the three easy tips for bigger traps. Hopefully you checked out our other videos covering the biceps, triceps, and calves. These are all fueled by your suggestions, so definitely keep those comments coming of what you wanna see next. But now, we're gonna go over how to build bigger traps and three easy tips. Let's get started. Okay, so if you've watched our other videos on biceps, triceps, and calves, a lot of those same tips actually apply to the traps as well along with any other muscle. And it's gonna be a lot in tempo as far as getting a nice contraction and eccentric contraction as well with that muscle making control through the movement. It's also gonna be range of motion, making sure you get that full range of motion, the good contraction at the top and the good stretch at the bottom and the variety of the exercises. So making sure you're hitting all angles to really properly work that muscle. So that takes me into the first tip and it's going to be visualize what movement you're gonna do. Especially with shrugs, Number one, trap move, bringing those shoulders up and back down. What you wanna do is work on the tempo, nice and slow, bring it all the way to the top, full range of motion. But what you really wanna do is visualize what kind of range of motion you're doing. So almost think of it as you're touching your shoulders to your ears, because a lot of times people aren't really taking it to that full range of motion. You're actually taking those traps and shoulders, elevating those shoulders all the way up, which the traps are really gonna be working in that range of motion. So what you gotta do is think, okay, I'm taking this weight, I'm gonna bring it all the way up to my ears, touch my ears, even though it's really impossible, but still thinking that way, almost making have that mind-muscle connection is really gonna help work those traps properly and get that full contraction at that top position, really getting that good squeeze and then bringing it down to the bottom position. Tip number two is going to be understanding the muscle and the movements involved in the specific muscle. With traps, a lot of times people think it's just shrugs. It's the upper traps up here are usually what you can see, but there's an upper, middle, and lower portion of the traps, and you have to do different movements to work different parts. So it's gonna be elevation, it's gonna be rotation, it's gonna be retraction, and it's gonna be depression. That's the four movements of the traps. So make sure your variety in your exercises, like we talked about before, to make sure you're working that muscle properly in all facets of the muscle. So work, always think in 3D. So it's not just two dimension of what you see in the mirror, it's 3D portions of, okay, so you can see the traps on the top, but it's also the middle portion of the traps running down the back and the lower portion as well. Make sure you always hit those muscle dudes. Tip number three is gonna be importance. The importance of the muscle itself. So when you look in a mirror, you see the traps, you want them to make them look better, and that's fine, but you also gotta be thinking why you're doing it. And while you're doing it, it's gonna be supporting that shoulder joint because the movement is all in the scapula and the traps are gonna be supporting the scapula itself. So what you do is when you work traps, think of how important they are for functionality as far as supporting bench press because you're pinching those shoulders back with the traps supporting the shoulder joint or pull-ups or anything of that nature. So it's gonna be that importance of working the trap and working it correctly to support that shoulder joint, which is the most mobile joint in the body and more susceptible for injury, unfortunately. So when you work those traps, make sure that shoulder joint's supported and make sure you work those traps properly. So importance, never forget the traps. It's sometimes a forgotten muscle group, same like forearms or calves tacked onto the end of the exercise or workout. What you wanna do is concentrate on working it correctly and consistently. All right, that wraps up the three easy tips for bigger, better, buffer traps. The good thing about these three easy tip exercises and videos we do is they all apply to any muscle group you do. Either it be tempo, consistency, range of motion, understanding the muscle itself and the function of it. They all work together and making you even buffer. So make sure you check out those other videos and also make sure you comment below of what muscle group you wanna see next because that definitely fuels our videos. Thanks dudes, stay buff. Ugh. <sighs>